You got to save room for dessert because we're taking you behind the scenes of Schneider's Sweet Shop in Bellevue. For 82 years, this candy destination has made the most authentic opera creams in the tri-state. Take a look. Yes, that's the rustic sound of a candy shop that was built in the 1930s. It's one of several pieces of machinery that have been passed down from generation to generation at Schneider's Sweet Shop in Bellevue, Kentucky. And this candy shop has been in the same location since 1939. And the Schneider family certainly has stories about living in sugar heaven a floor above. Dad would tell the stories about how he'd be sitting upstairs and Grandpa would be downstairs and he'd be like, time to come to work. And the kids would have to come down and work. And then when Grandma and Grandpa retired and Mom and Dad took over, um, they still lived upstairs. So after school, we would come down and then we would hang out upstairs with them till Mom and Dad got done working. And then they would come up for dinner, so we'd all have dinner together, and then they'd come back down and make candy. So it was just always that up and down, like we lived here growing up. So it was just, it was cool. I mean, I literally grew up in a candy store. Schneider's is a case of consistency. Since the beginning, they've made the same authentic opera creams, fudges, and caramels filling at the time two shelves. Today, there's four shelves and many more treats, like added cream flavors, meltaways, dip pretzels, and so much more. So there's certainly something for everyone. Yes. Most kids, you know, they'll eat a piece of chocolate, but they don't like to eat a box of assorted chocolates, opera cream. That's, some, that's an older palate yeah. that eats that kind of stuff. And they like this kind of stuff, so they, the, you know, the kids will come in for this, they'll buy this. And the same way with Easter, we'll have people come in and they'll buy their Easter candy, but they'll, they say, oh, I'm getting the good stuff for me. My kids are going to get the stuff from Walgreens. <laughs> I, I says, no, you got to start your kid, you know, start your kids with the good stuff so they know what good stuff is as they grow old because people don't know what good stuff is anymore. No, that's and that's why people keep coming back here because they know what, what goes into this. They know I'm not going to change anything. Um, you've got the people that, I worked here, you know, 25 years ago when I was younger and I still see the same people come in with their kids and their grandkids and it's it's really cool. Like my kindergarten teacher still comes in. Like it's so fun. So I think it's just, it's it's the consistency, nothing changed. Um, everything is made the same quality that he did in 1939 and then dad did in 1985 when he took over. Everything's been the same. So every time you come in, you know exactly what you're gonna get. And candy making is truly an art form. For Schneider's Candy Shop, there's no relying on technology or automation. It's all done by hand, which continues to stand the test of time decades later. If you want quality and you want a place that you can count on getting that quality and somebody and people that'll back up whatever they make, uh, this is where you want to go. And we have a lot of people that'll vouch for that. Mm -mm -mm. And I want to welcome Allie back. So, Allie, okay, you got to tell us, was it anything, you went behind the scenes, so was it mm -hmm. anything like Willy Wonka? Was it anything like Willy Wonka? It was better, Mona, because there's something <laughs> about watching chocolates and the artisan of candy making. I mean, it was all handmade, right? And I think that was a big point that I wanted to kind of take away with this piece, that it's, uh, it's very easy nowadays to get new technology and new machinery and new equipment to make more candy, to make faster candy. They are using original equipment from 1939, the same way that when the shop first opened, generation to generation, which was just really cool to see. And then all the family under one roof. And Jack was saying that that recipe for those opera creams, which is what you see right now, that is an authentic, original German opera cream recipe. And when they first opened the shop, they would actually make them for the Cincinnati Opera. So I thought mm. that was quite interesting. And now they've expanded into 15 to 20 different flavors of cream. And my personal favorite was the peanut butter um, opera cream candy. <laughs> and I'm really sorry that I didn't bring any to yeah, you guys, yeah, yeah. but this is pandemic problems, right? Yeah, exactly. Yeah, blame <laughs> it on that. Blame it on that. So uh, <laughs> now that we know what your favorite is, what's their best seller of, of the mm. options and varieties they have? This is actually a really interesting point because Jack was saying that he's seeing some of the trends change a little bit for, of course, years and years and years. Uh, the opera cream has always been the staple, 
but he's been seeing the turtles and the cherry cordials kind of creeping up with the opera creams. And mm. I guess some of the palettes are changing a little bit. So I thought that was really, really interesting. And when you walk into the space, I mean, it's truly, there is something for everyone. You have the classic gummies, the classic jelly beans and, and things like that. And they do all of their ice creams homemade. And they actually do the traditional way of using egg and then they make all of their sauces homemade from the hot chocolate, from the hot fudge and all of that. And then mm. you have the, the four shelves to the right with the dipped Oreos and the cherry cordials, but they also put the cherries on by hand. It's only 10 o'clock and I'm really hungry. <laughs> <laughs> it makes two of us. <laughs> you know, so check them out you know, Allie. Yeah, you know. where are they on Facebook? On, uh, just under uh, Schneider's Sweet Shop. <laughs> Thank you, Allie. Great job as always.